Today we're going to be looking at an extremely rare Mario plush set that really doesn't have a lot of information about it. It was also one of the most unique Mario plushes I have ever seen as well. you literally color the Mario plushes so yeah it's a pretty creative plush but also an extremely rare and obscure one. So with that said welcome to a look at the Color Me Mario plush set. Now before we get into the individual plushes let's talk about when these plushes were made and the history behind them. First off, these plushes were released in the year 1993 and they're actually one of the only Mario plushes that have commercials for them. So yeah, this is definitely a really interesting plush, especially because it's one of the only ones to have a commercial and also is a pretty unique concept. And well, the creators of these plushes were the company Alps, which doesn't really have a lot of information on them. All I know is that a lot of the stuff that they made is now extremely rare. As of if you look up stuff on eBay that were made by Alps, they usually sell for thousands of dollars, including these Mario plushes, as though they're extremely rare and sell for over a hundred dollars basically every time they go up for sale. So yeah, it's definitely a really creative Mario plush in, and these plushes actually come with crayons inside the box that are specifically made for these plushes, and well, once you color them, you could also wash the color out, which is why the majority of them are still white. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's start off with the first plush being the Mario. Now a lot of the details on the face could get damaged, especially the eyes, as well, the eyes are only made out of plastic and they're only glued on. And well, the quality control on these plushes also aren't the best, as well, sometimes the eyes are really close together or really far apart, but sometimes they actually do look pretty good as well, sometimes they're actually kind of in the middle, which is actually how they're supposed to be. The mustache on this plush is also stitched onto the plush and it seems to be pretty accurate most of the time, but it's sometimes off-centered. And well, there's also an emblem on the hat that has a red M on it. And well, the only other color detail on this plush are the overalls as well, they have buttons on them. But yeah, this Mario plush material is actually a really fuzzy material as you can tell from these pictures. But yeah, Alps actually did a really good job making the details on this plush, especially because the plush is entirely white as well. For the overalls, they added an extra piece of plush material that was really thick so it differentiates itself from the actual rest of the plush. You know, there's also a few other details like that, like the soles and the shoes being slightly wider so they stand out a bit more, and same thing with the hands. You know, for the box of this Mario plush, it actually looks really good as well, but it actually has a lot of artwork on it. The box is supposed to be a fully yellow color on the front, but sometimes it can look a bit faded as well. One thing that I really notice with these boxes is that they get sun faded really easily. As of when you see these plushes for sale a lot of the times in the boxes, they're for some reason really sun faded. I don't really know the reason for this, but it seems like the majority of them are actually sun faded. Which is one thing that I don't really see on any other plushes, so I don't know if it's just how the box was made or something, or people just left them out in the light all the time for whatever reason. But yeah, the back of the box just gives you a ton of info about the plushes and also the creators of them being Alps. So yeah, there isn't really a lot of information about the plushes themselves besides what you could do with them to get the color out. And well, for the rarity of this plush, it's actually pretty rare as well, but it barely pops up on eBay and when it does, it sells for over $150 usually outside of the box. But with the box, it actually sells for a lot more mattering on the condition as well. With a sun faded box, it could still sell up to $250 and a fully mint condition one you could expect to buy for around $300. So yeah, it's definitely a really expensive plush, especially mattering if you want it in mint condition or not. Moving on to the next plush, we have the Yoshi. Now, just like the Mario plush, the majority of the details that are non-white are actually just made out of plastic. And well, the only real details that are used on this plush are on the face being the mouth and the eyes, and well, the eyes are made out of a plastic material that could get chipped and damaged pretty easily, and they're only glued on. And well, this plush also has a mouth which is pretty nicely stitched on, but it could get unstitched as well. I've seen some pictures of the plush that have stitchings coming off of the mouth. And well, there's also spikes on the back of Yoshi's head which seems to be made out of a felt material, and they're most likely just stitched onto the plush. And well, just like the Mario plush, they actually did a great job making all the details on this plush stand out from each other by using definition and different depths. One thing that does look a bit weird though is that the shell on the back of it just makes it look like he has a huge lump on the back of him, and I think it just would have looked better if they didn't put the shell on it entirely. As well with the shell, it just kind of makes the back of it stand out as well, but it just has a really big lump on the back of it, and it's kind of hard to tell what it is. And this plush doesn't really have a tail either, it just has a slight bit of extra stuffing at the back of it, so it kind of looks weird as well. You know, for the Yoshi's box, I'm actually not sure which color it's supposed to be as well, but I've seen it be green and also be blue. As well, sometimes it seems that the Yoshi's box is supposed to be a greenish color, but other times it seems to be a blue color, so yeah, it seems that it just got really sun faded. 
Especially because I found this box that actually just has a blue Yoshi on the front of it instead of having a normal green Yoshi. It's most likely just, just sun damage, but it also doesn't explain why the box is fully blue, especially with a normal green Yoshi at the bottom of it. So yeah, I don't know if different types of boxes had different colors or what, but some of them are green and some of them are blue. And well, they came with the same exact crayons as the Mario plush do, and the prices of the Yoshi plush are very similar to the Mario plush, mattering on the condition of it. But it does seem that Yoshi actually sells for slightly less than Mario, but that's only being like 10 or $20 less for each condition type. And it seems to be a little more rare than Mario, but it's still slightly cheaper. And while moving on to the rarest plush in the entire set, we have the Peach. Now, the majority of the details on this plush are on the face as well. The eyes are made out of a plastic material, so they could get chipped and damaged pretty easily. And the eyelashes are made out of a felt material, and they're only glued on. The lips on this plush are actually stitched on, they look pretty good in my opinion, especially for stitching on this really fuzzy material. And well, the jewel in the middle of the dress is actually made out of a plastic material, and it seems to only be either stitched on or glued onto the plush. And well, just like the eyes, it can also get chipped pretty easily. The crown on this plush seems to be made out of a felt material, and the jewels on it also seem to be made out of a pretty delicate material, and well, they could probably get damaged pretty easily. It also seems that the crown is only stitched onto the plush, so once again, that could also probably get damaged pretty easily. But yeah, just like the other plushes in the set, they actually did a good job adding definition to the plush, especially with it being one solid color. And well, especially with the hair on this plush, they added a ton of extra detail with it just by stuffing separate parts of the plush a little more than the others to give the hair a bit more detail. And well, they did the same thing with the hands, and also they added a bit of extra detail to the dress. And well, for the Peach Plushes box, it's a similar thing to the Yoshi as well, but it might actually have two different color boxes as well, but sometimes it looks pink and other times it looks red. And well, the weird thing is, is that when the box looks red, it actually doesn't look sun faded at all, but with the pink, it also doesn't look sun faded at all. So yeah, I don't really know which is which, but they could have just made two other boxes, and same thing with the Yoshi. So unless the only part of the plush that got sun faded was the actual box color and no other details on the box got sun faded, then it probably means that they just used two different color boxes, which kind of makes sense. But yeah, this piece plush is actually just extremely rare and it takes forever to show up on eBay and when it does, it sells for over $500 usually. The last one I saw sold was a mint condition one still in the box and it sold for $600. So yeah, mattering on the condition, it might sell for a little less, but most of the time it will sell for more than $500. So if you do want this plush, you'll probably have to look on eBay or Yahoo Japan, but you will have to save up a lot of money. But yeah, this is definitely a really obscure Mario plush set, and it's also a pretty interesting concept for a Mario plush set. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe, and comment down below which plush set is your favorite, and yeah, have a great day.